everyone, this is the second in my series of videos on heat embossing. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a technique that's known as emboss resist. It's a very simple technique, easy to do. You start with a piece of uh, cardstock, whatever you're going to be stamping on, and then um, if you want to, if you have one of these embossing buddies, I showed you some of these in the supplies in my first video on this series. I'm going to wipe that over there over the cardstock to eliminate any static that might be on there. And then I'm going to ink up my image using, remember, you got to use a pigment ink. And in this case, I'm using um, white craft ink from Stamping Up. It's a pigment based ink. Ink up my image. And then I'm going to stamp my image. Now I know this is going to be hard to see because it's white on white but you'll see why in a minute. Okay, I'm not sure, that probably won't show up on the camera, but I have my image stamped on there. And now I'm ready for my embossing powder. And for embossing powders that I use frequently, I like to keep them in big uh, containers like this. It's just easier, uh, to, it, faster, because you don't have to clean it up um, afterwards. The, just the excess powder runs right back into the container. So you're gonna just, um, Put your embossing powder over your image and shake any excess off. And remember, if you have any little stray pieces, use a dry paintbrush and brush them off. Okay, I've got my embossing powder. Let's put this out of the way so we don't end up blowing it everywhere. And now I'm ready to heat my cardstock to melt that embossing powder. Remember, you want to turn on your heat tool for a few seconds and let it warm up before you aim it at your image so that you don't blow the embossing powder away before it has a chance to melt. And hopefully, um, I don't know how much of this is going to show up on camera, but you begin to apply the heat and you'll notice when the image turns shiny that your embossing powder has, has started to melt and you're just going to move it over the image until you get all the embossing powder heated. It's not going to take too long. You notice I'm using glossy cardstock and it does tend to curl a little bit when you apply heat, but that's okay because when we apply adhesive to the back, it will all settle down flat. Oops, it looks like I missed a couple of spots right here. Okay, let me hold it up to the camera. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but can you sort of begin to see the image? I'm not sure if that will show up or not, but it will show up in a minute. Okay, now for the resist part of this technique. You're going to need an ink that is water-based, not pigment ink, but water-based, quick-drying ink. And if you're using Stamping Up inks, that's the classic ink pads. And I'm using, um, this is Bermuda Bay is the color I'm using. And then just use a sponge or a little ink dauber. You could even use a, a stipple brush. And you're going to apply the color right over the top of that image that you just embossed. I'm going to do this pretty quickly for this demonstration. You could take more time if you wanted. You could even do more than one color over the top. You maybe have one color towards the top of the image and another color towards the bottom. Okay, so that's done. And then you're just going to take a paper towel and you're just going to wipe off the top of your image. So what you're doing is you're wiping off the ink off the top of the embossed image. So the embossed image is actually resisting the ink and that's how this technique gets its name. And there you go. It's all done. Let me show you a card I did with this particular image. So you can kind of get an idea of a finished project. So it's really simple and quick. It doesn't take much time but you uh, get some really cool results. I have another card here to show you. This is um, one I got at a swap at convention, a beautiful Christmas card, and this one was by Becky Hay de Garcia. Isn't that beautiful? Such a simple, easy technique to master, um, but it just has some really beautiful results. She's even added some sparkles here with a, a few little dazzling diamonds or the stamping up glitter to the image on top when she was finished. Absolutely beautiful. Hope you enjoy. Um, 
Come back again soon. I'm going to be demonstrating other techniques using heat embossing.